This is a call for vengeance. Welcome to today's show. The Super Bowl halftime show was a lot of things, but entertaining was not one of them. And if you're finding this channel in this video because you saw some of the signs and symbols during the Illuminati's halftime show ritual, which they put on every single year, I recommend you subscribe now and come along for the ride. My voice might sound familiar to you. Now, many people out there probably saw the performance and didn't think anything of it because they've been trained to think that they literally need to see a blood sacrifice committed on the stage, something like Sam Smith did where he's literally dressing up as the devil, for them to actually start thinking maybe it is a satanic ritual. But then again, even when those things occur, everybody out there just dismisses it. Now, this is nothing more than a massive Freemason occult ritual, so let's start there. Because all of this stuff can be tied into Freemasonry. All of these occult practices, Freemasonry, for those of you out there that don't know, who stumble upon these videos because you're thinking, what is the Illuminati? Oh, the Illuminati, it's just a club of cool people. There is a Freemason Lodge in every town in America. There is a Freemason Lodge in every town in the world, on the earth, right now, as we speak. And in those lodges, there are people. And those windows that you can't see through at the Freemason Lodge, you know that place where you, you just kind of think there's a bunch of guys hanging out maybe drinking some beers and talking about football. Well, no. In reality, what they're doing is they're actually infiltrating your local townships, your local government, and your local businesses. And all the people in there have books that they follow and read that you're not allowed to know about, but we all do know now. And in those books, they are taught that Lucifer is the god of this world. Their teacher that they follow, one of their teachers is, of course, Albert Pike, the same person who has written about the coming World War III and how a civil war is needed. And, of course, what do you see going on right now? Because all the problems in the world really stem from a few certain groups of people, one of which are Freemasons. And we all know the other group, which, well, you can't talk about them. They even showed up during the halftime, or excuse me, the Super Bowl commercials, which I'll cover in a separate video. So Freemasonry is who runs and controls this operation. And they let you know every time they do one of these events. You can see the black and white Masonic checkerboard right behind Usher, and that shouldn't surprise anybody, right? Because Usher, of course, has already shown his allegiance to the New World Order. That's why Usher was selected. The irresistible force meeting the immovable object. My story started at the very beginning, brother. Usher was selected to do the show. That's why they always show you the black and white tile symbolism. Nobody ever picks up on it. Nobody ever thinks any further. Every lodge, every Freemason lodge, has their black and white Masonic checkerboard floor. This symbolizes duality as above, so below. And ultimately, discover as they go through initiation and ritual after ritual that Lucifer is the god of this world. That is who they worship. So when you hear Usher talking about God, he is referencing Lucifer as they all do, Beyonce, etc. So he's on stage with the black and white symbolism behind him. And of course, he's standing inside of a giant circle. Because those of you who have followed my work over the years, I've made it really clear. Do you ever notice the repetition and the pattern? With every stage and performance at the Grammys and all these, it's always a circular stage. That's because these are giant rituals. You probably say to yourself, oh yeah, it's a circular stage. Well, have you ever noticed that witches perform all of their rituals inside of this protection circle, this magic circle? Right? You might have seen some crime shows where you've seen a crime occur and they've had this giant circle drawn out on the floor. That's because it's a form of witchcraft. Now, Freemasons call what they do the craft, right? They're literally telling you it's the craft. I mean, that's what free... Ooh, masters of our craft. Well, what craft do you think they're talking about? Craft mac and cheese? They're talking about witchcraft and sorcery. Freemasons and Eastern Star witches partake in satanic rituals. They just won't tell you that, and they deny it because they're sworn to vows of secrecy, which I'll show you later with some of their members who pop up on stage during this performance. Now, Usher, of course, is one of these Satanists, right? We've seen Usher... Hanging out with Marina Abramovich, you may remember Marina from that thing called spirit cooking when she was throwing coagulated blood on the wall and she was obviously associated with all these celebrities in Hollywood doing rituals with her forehead with Jay-Z all over the place. Marina, hard to even talk about her without getting a bullying strike, so I'll be careful here because I don't want to get bullied by Marina because, you know, I may have a couple channels taken down already from Marina. So Marina is one of the highest ranking witches on the earth. They worship the ground Marina walks on. Marina is at all of these events. They even had a Met Gala event just for Marina where the theme of the party was, of course, cannibalism. So Usher's just hanging out with her. It's no big deal, right? So then we get to Usher, what's on his shirt, right? Because signs and symbols rule the world. All these signs and symbols are always in front of us, but we don't process it. We look and we go, man, I don't know. Looks like he's is he wearing a crochet. What is that? Is he a fan of the Philadelphia? Is that an eagle? That is the Phoenix Rising. 
Okay, the phoenix rising signifies the transformation. It's a main symbol of the New World Order. We see it all the time. It's not because they love birds and they love the phoenix. I mean, we see Logan, all those types of people always using this symbol. The phoenix rising even appears right outside of the One World Trade Center, and nobody pays attention to that. Do you know why it appears there? Because that was the beginning of the transformation, that ritual that occurred on the 11th day of September back in 2001. That's why they put a phoenix rising. It symbolizes a rebirth and a transformation, and it's very significant to the occult. So Usher is wearing his phoenix rising right on his shirt. And then I thought it was really interesting, because remember, everything they do, all the choreography is deliberately done. They don't just go in there and go, hey, wouldn't it be really great if you did a backflip? And oh, no, 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 no. They do this stuff strategically because they know that you will notice it. They know that you don't pay attention to it. You're just ooing and eyeing over your favorite false idol on the stage. Now, you can see, obviously, mirrors behind it, which is a symbol of the occult as well, which is why in a lot of these movies with exorcisms and demonic possession, you always see mirrors used to summon spirits. Well, it's because it's a ritual. And look to the side of the stage. On both sides of the stage, you see somebody in a weird pose, right? Did they just decide they wanted to be a human pretzel? Well, they did so, of course not, because who are they paying homage to? They're paying homage to one of their boys, Tony Podesta, right? The Podesta clan, right? Remember, Tony had this uh, bizarre statue in his own, of course, paying homage to one of their own, Jeffrey Dahmer, who's another CIA Manchurian candidate, because that's what these serial killers really are. You can learn about that stuff by watching this channel. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet, okay? So that's what that statue symbolizes. That was one of the bodies that was found inside of Jeffrey Dahmer's, you know, home, <laughs> and people out there are like, oh, what was Jeffrey Dahmer doing with him? Why would Tony Podesta have a sexual And of course, Podesta's tied in with all that stuff involving pizza that they don't want you to talk about, which is one of the reasons they began censoring free speech back in 2016. But as we continue through the performance, we're then humbled by the appearance of the horror of Babylon. Now, I'm not just calling Alicia Keys that for no reason, of course. I'm calling her that because they love to portray the horror of Babylon in her scarlet red all the time. And that's what she was portraying here. A giant curtain of red, right, goes up. It's very occultish. You can feel that when you watch it and see it. And she's in all reds with jewels, right? We read about this, obviously, in the Bible. The whore of Babylon who is decked out in scarlet, who has pearls or precious stones. You can see the stones on the outfit, and they always do this. They just rotate people in to play this role right in front of our faces. But they're referencing end-time scripture about Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And many of us believe that we're in it here in the United States of America. And other times we've seen it, we see Nicki Minaj at the Grammys dressed up as the whore of Babylon, along with the Pope, right? So Alicia Keys is obviously one of them. I've covered Broken Alicia Keys now many times. You see her throwing up devil horns. You see her doing the all-seeing eyes symbolism. Every single one of them who is famous is connected to this because you can see for a fact that they all use the same signs and symbols. They're not just doing this because they are having a, you know, Alicia Keys doesn't have a booger in her eye. Alicia Keys is showing you that she's in the occult. Alicia Keys holding the finger over her mouth. Like every single other celebrity from Johnny Depp to Tom. They're not telling Tom Hanks, you know, all of them. Marcus is a connoisseur of anything that's free. So he was happy to read the disc. All of them. They're not saying that they, oh, they farted. They don't tell anybody. They're doing it because this is a Freemasonic Eastern star symbol. It's a vow of silence that they take, a vow of secrecy. They reveal this stuff to one another through pictures, through magazines, through stuff they post on their accounts. And nobody, you know, their social media accounts, nobody picks up on it because they've been trained not to look at signs and symbols. They've been trained to listen to what they're told. And that's why we're in the mess that we're in. So Alicia portraying the Horror of Babylon, even has the red shoes on, which I won't go into detail about because I'm not looking to get a strike tonight. But, you know, I'm sure one's coming, right? So as Usher continues on, Usher is... You know, the stage transforms a few times over. You can see the f hell fire inside of the stage. And then we see some demon, I don't know who it is, come out in the black and white Masonic clothing as well because the black and white duality they always do. Of course, the hair is strategically done to make this person look like Lucifer. They even go as far as to change the camera angle so we can see our little as above, so below with our esoteric colors. And of course, the two, the way her hair is done wasn't because she was in the back, back and was like, you know, everybody's going to be seeing the Super Bowl today and uh, 
uh, you know, nobody has a clue who I am, so I probably should put my best performance out. Maybe I'll put my hair like Pippi Longstocking. Uh, no, they put it like that strategically. She's obviously paying homage to Lucifer. Look at this guitar colors as well. The red and black guitar with the black and white Masonic colors. I mean, it's just so obvious, right? And then, of course, at the end, I have to point this out because it's just funny. I was laughing. They bring out this whole thing was like, I don't even, you know, I don't even remember 20 years ago anyone even giving a crap about Usher. But, you know, the mind control is so thick, I guess they think that they do. But they brought out Ludacris. And I'm covering this because I just covered Cat Williams. Of course, that video is available on the website as well. Cat Williams calling out Ludacris is going to those Illuminati parties, you know. Well, it looks like Ludy, uh, you know, obviously renewed his membership, even though he pretended he didn't because he wouldn't be at the Super Bowl unless he was indeed one of them. So they brought Ludacris out, but these are just some of the things you may have seen. There was even some stuff I struggled to get pictures of, like drums. Some of the drums that they had on stage had pentagrams on them, right? They're using the pentagram throughout the entire program of the Super Bowl all over the place. But really the main themes of it, of course, is Freemasonry, right? Freemasonry, witchcraft. They're one in the same. They just don't want you to know that. These people take vows of silence, vows of secrecy, Okay. They communicate in signs and symbols and secret handshakes. You're not in the club, but guess what? That same club is the reason that you're feeling so much anxiety and stress. That same club is the reason that all of the world is now taking a dump on itself because they're the ones who are sabotaging. Because guess, guess what their motto is in Freemasonry? Order out of chaos. Have you noticed the chaos? Hmm? They control the media. They control your mind. They control the division. They're the ones who are doing all this stuff as they sit there and take their vows of silence and they've infiltrated every part of government democrats and republicans if you're new to my channel i'm not a republican i'm not a democrat it's not real your vote doesn't count it's an illusion this is the illusion of freedom that they're using they're going to take down the entire infrastructure of our government and blame it on you because you think your vote counts this is all planned these are all actors in place i've broken that down thousands of times over which is why i'm not allowed to speak on this platform but i will continue to and my like i said my voice might sound familiar to you. So we saw the Freemasonic stuff. We saw the ritual. Of course, the ritual stage, always a circle, okay? Just like witchcraft, it's very simple to see, okay? We see the connections with Usher and, and uh, the New World Order with all the people he associates with. But the Phoenix Rising is another one to take out of it, okay? The Phoenix Rising of, from the ashes, the transformation that is so key because the transformation is taking place. They're talking about transforming human beings. They're doing in two different ways right now psychologically and even in some ways with some of the stuff that they're getting inside of people's bodies has the capability to transform their genetic code yeah go figure right in addition to those things i mentioned of course we saw the podesta statue the horror of babylon the red shoes the satanic guitar player it's all there it's always there it's just a matter of how people perceive it because a lot of people see this and they literally they're like looking looking they don't see it Right. And they're like, I'm looking for stuff as if like they want a giant eyeball to pause on the stage for seven minutes so that they can actually get it finally. Like they actually operate like that. They don't. Sometimes the shows are more obvious than others. And then other times you just see the basic rituals that they do where they pay homage to Freemasonry, letting you know that this is a production of the secret society. So you want to call them the Illuminati, you want to call them Freemasonry, call them what you want. But one thing's for sure, their teachings, their texts talk about worshiping Lucifer. And they also talk about World War III and bringing about civil unrest and bringing in order out of chaos. And it's all right in front of our faces happening on a world stage right now. I thank everybody for being here. A reminder, if you didn't subscribe yet, I recommend that you do. Okay, my voice again might sound familiar to me. To you, it might not. But I guarantee if you stick around with this channel, you will start to awaken. But you're going to have to follow me and jump around and hop around. Jump up, jump up and get down because guess what? They're going to wipe me out again and again and again because this is the truth they don't want you to hear. They want you to keep stuck in the left-right. They want you to follow the alt-right media who are there to herd you and lead you into the bottomless pit to lead you astray to believe in this left-right war that they're trying to create on your conscious and subconscious mind. I thank you for being here, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. God bless all of you, as always, and your families.